Judy, an old restaurant proverb is the proof is in the pudding. And tonight in Chicago, restaurant and tavern owners say they're still looking for proof from government leaders that they are to blame for our current surge in COVID-19 cases. The I-team has been provided some vague answers from state health officials and a data graph that doesn't satisfy restaurateurs. We think what's happening to our Chicago restaurant community is unfair. The director of the Fulton Market Association tonight suggests that many of Chicago's 7,000 restaurants are at risk of failure because of the indoor closure order going into effect Friday. Small independent operators aren't going to be able to make it through this next phase. Possibly among them, Chef Martin Murch's Good Eats Group that has already closed a Lincoln Park restaurant and lost a lease on another. I feel that we are being uh, improperly targeted. The restaurant tours are helping with mitigating COVID. When a guest comes into the restaurant, we're requesting, we're helping navigate, we're managing that they're wearing their masks. We're managing that they're keeping the distance. We are helping in the process. Merch and other restaurateurs tonight demanding data from public officials to prove that they are the problem causing a spike in COVID. We need specific data. The governor needs to present the state's data, the mayor needs to present the city's data, and science and data need to lead the way. And the I-team today asked Governor Pritzker for the data. State health officials later provided us with this graph that shows restaurants among the top places that COVID patients visited within the previous two weeks of contracting the virus, admittedly a loose link. Contact tracing data doesn't tell you where somebody caught it. In fact, there's no way really know, to know where somebody contracted COVID-19. Unless the governor changes his mind, uh, because of political pressure being applied, the, the plaintiffs the, would have to file an action in court and they'd have to seek emergency relief on the argument that this is going to cause them catastrophic harm and that the governor lacks sufficient authority to do what he's doing. Restaurant owners and associations tonight say they've already spent millions trying to deal with the pandemic just to stay open. And now, if faced with financing court cases to fight the closure, it may be insurmountable. While our legal analyst Gil Sofer says that the governor has the right to do just about whatever he wants during a public emergency, submitting scientific data to support his closure of indoor restaurant service would help defend a court case and convince the public that it's necessary. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.